Hello all. Welcome to Geetam series of Insight videos. My name is Sash Kumar and we are going to discuss vocabulary. If you can recall, what did we discuss in the last class? We discussed vocabulary. What did we discuss in vocabulary? We discussed denotations, collocations, connotations, etc. Right? Now this session is a revision. Of course, we are going to handle new questions, but I'm not going to introduce anything new here. We're going to discuss some already discussed ideas and concepts. Subordinate. Look at the prefix sub. Sub means under. I repeat, the prefix sub means under. Now, can you guess? Can you guess what subordinate? Subordinate is the opposite of superior. Subordinate is the opposite of superior. Subordinate is someone who works below you in the hierarchy. Someone who works under you in hierarchy as opposed to superior. Right? Now look at this. Subconscious mind. Your conscious mind is a reasoning mind and it sees what's happening out and it reasons. Whereas your subconscious mind is under it. It doesn't reason. It just takes your command. So sub is under. Why do we call it submarine? Because we call it submarine because it goes under the water. Right? That's why we call it submarine. If the road is constructed below the normal road level, right? It's called subway. Now, let us look at the last one, submissive. There are some people who always say yes. They don't say no. They don't fight. They always say yes to whatever you say. They are obedient. No, they are over obedient. So these over obedient people can be termed as submissive. Now let's look at the next one, supernatural. Something that is beyond or above natural is supernatural, right? Supercilious, someone who thinks he, someone who thinks he or she is above you, they are arrogant. They think they are superior to you. They are supercilious, arrogant people. Supernumerary, numerary is related to number. Super means above. Supernumerary is beyond the needed number. We are expected to have 10 fingers on our hands, but if there is a if there is an extra finger, they call it supernumerary finger. Let's look at the last one. Superfluous. Fluous means to flow, super means above, so more than what is required. Superfluous information, more data than you actually need, than, than you actually need. Circum means around. Scry means to draw. If you draw a line and put limitations to someone that you cannot go beyond this. That's called circumscribe, limiting, putting limits. Circumspect, spect means, spect means to see. If you are carefully looking around, if you are cautiously looking around, that's called circumspect. If you're being circumspect, you're being very, very careful. Circumlocution, you know, locution as an elocution talk, it means talk. Locution as an elocution competition, Talk, circumlocution, you're not talking straight, you are beating around the bush, you're not going to the point straight, that is circumlocution. Circumvent, vent means to go or to move, as in ventilator, air moves through ventilator. He vented, right, his aggression, to vent your aggression, to release. Circumvent means to go but not straight. To go but not straight. When you circumvent law, you don't go straight. You find a different way to avoid or escape facing the law. Circumventing law. Not going in the straight path. Let us practice this. Insurge, resurge, upsurge. Do you see the common thread? Surge. Surge means rise. I repeat. Surge means rise. Insurge. Resurge. Upsurge. Sudden rise is called Upsurge. I repeat, sudden rise is called upsurge. Re means again. Research is to rise again. Re means again. Research means to rise again. Resurgency of the value, the share values. Insurge to rise against the authority. To rise against the authority. To rise against the government, ruling government. So insurgency is to rise against the authority. So Typically, they all mean rise. Pathy means feeling. I repeat, pathy means feeling. Showing no feeling to others. 
is apathy. If you are apathetic towards someone, you have no emotion or concern towards the person. Sympathy, you feel very sorry for them. Sympathy, you feel very, very sorry for them. Empathy, empathy. Now understand the difference between sympathy and empathy. Only a woman knows the pain of other women. Only a woman knows the pain of other women. That is empathy, right? I, I as I'm a man, as I'm a man, I, I, I cannot exactly feel the pain of a woman, but I know that she's in pain. I feel sorry for her. That is sympathy, right? Only a criminal knows, only a criminal knows the pain of other criminal. I'm not a criminal, I'm not a criminal, but I know that a criminal is in prob problem, so I feel sorry for him, right? As a human being, I feel sorry for a fellow human being here, so that is sympathy. I repeat, feeling the pain exactly like, exactly like others, because you both share the common pain, that's empathy. Sharing and feeling the same pain. Just recognizing that someone is in pain and then feeling sorry for them is sympathy. You may not be facing the same problem, both of you. You know that someone is in trouble and you feel sorry for them. That is sympathy. Telepathy. Tele means distance. Pathy means feeling. So feeling somebody's feeling who's far away from you. By the way, science says telepathy doesn't exist. Authoritative proven science doesn't say that telepathy exists. So tele means distance. Pathy means feeling. So telepathy, 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 sorry, telepathy means to feel somebody's feeling from a distance. We communicate through an unknown source with someone, right? That's called telepathy. Now see, annual is time, right? Annual is time. Look at this. Annual is yearly. Bi means two. So twice a year, twice a year is biannual. Now see, biennial. This is twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. Now look at this biennial. This is once, once every two years. Once every two years. Do you understand? Annual means yearly. Biannual. Biannual meaning twice a year. Biennial. Once every two years. Perennial throughout the year. Perennial waterfalls. The water flows through the water flows throughout the year. Perpetual is the synonym. Perpetual problems. You see, in, in TV serials or TV series, sometimes the problems of the hero never seem to be ending. They are they are perpetual. What are perpetual perpetual problems? They are seen all the time. Perpetual. Never ending. Nocturnal, only night time. Nocturnal birds are birds that are active only at nights. Diurnal, morning, morning. Diurnal birds are those that are very active in the mornings. Ephemeral, ephemeral, temporary. I repeat, ephemeral, temporary. Ephemeral data, meaning the data is very temporary. The ephemeral, ephemeral uh, information, meaning information is very temporary. Right, I'm going to the next slide. Let us practice now synonyms. Negate means deny. Negate means deny, right? So then what is abnegate? If you deny your own pleasures, right? If you deny your own pleasures, if you stay away from your own your own pleasures, that's called abnegation. Right? What's the answer now? Can you? Can you? Yes. Renunciation. Renunciation, abnegation, they both mean giving up. They both mean giving up, right? Re means back. Nunciation is to speak, as in pronounce, as in pronounce, nunciation is to speak. So you're saying that I'm going to take back what I said what I said earlier. That's renunciation. So abnegation is to give up. Renunciation is to give up. Though they are used in different ways in different contexts, they primarily mean giving up. Palatable. You know, there's a part in your mouth called palate, which is also responsible for taste in your mouth, right? Palatable, therefore, is very tasty. Palatable is tasty. Savory, savory is tasty. Therefore, that's your answer, right? Palatable, savory, tasty. Malleable, moldable. Malleable, moldable. Doesn't fit here, right? 
So malleable and flexible are synonyms. Sancti, sanctimonious. See, sancti means sacred. I repeat, sancti means sacred. Sanctimonious, sacred. Therefore, that's your answer. Tacit. You know what is tacit agreement? Unspoken. You asked your father, father, can I study in can I study in India? Will you support me? He just gave a smile and he got up and he left home. Now you know that a smile meant agreement. A smile meant agreement. Right? A man approaches a woman and says, Will you marry me? She gives a big smile and she walks away. She gives a big pleasant smile and walks away. Meaning, of course, yes, I like you. I, I do agree. Right? So, I'm just trying to tell you that sometimes it is understood through actions, not through words. Then I can say it's tacit, tacit agreement, tacit communication. What is tacit turn? Turn means out. Tacit means quiet. So, tacit turn means outwardly very, very quiet. Tacit turn means outwardly very, very quiet, meaning reserved. Right? Combination of extrovert and introvert is ambivert. Combination of extrovert, someone who makes friends very quickly. Introvert, someone who doesn't make friends at all. The combination is ambivert, meaning sometimes you are very friendly and sometimes you are very reserved. You are never balanced. You have two extreme personalities in you. Rectitude, you know, rect means straight as in erect, as in rectangle. Rect means straight, okay? So when you're morally very straight, when you're morally very straight, that is rectitude. Answer is uprightness. Vacillate. Remember, a pendulum oscillates between two points. A pendulum oscillates between two points. When you vacillate between two ideas, you are in a, you are in a, you are in a confusion. You are in a dilemma. Right? Whether I should I study in should I study in India or should I study in Africa? Should I study in India or should I study in the US? This is your you are vacillating between two points. A pendulum oscillates and your mind vacillates. Your answer is oscillate. Now let's practice some antonyms. I want the opposite. Circumlocution. Circum means around locution, as an elocution means to talk. You're not coming to the point straight. You're beating around the bush. Now, what is the opposite? To the point, ters. To the point, ters. Ters reply. Ters replies to the point. Iconoclast. See, icon means image. Icon means image. Clast means break. Earlier, some people believed that there should be an image of God and we should be praying it. And then some people broke these images they threw out these images and said you don't need images to pray god okay see well cherished beliefs well established beliefs when you break them when you break them you are an iconoclast you are iconoclastic you are you are an iconoclast right some people believe that some people believe that you cannot live in a house with the number 13 with the number 13 on the door they believe it's a sign of it's a sign of danger, right? Because it belongs to spirits. You but you are a kind of guy you deliberately put the number 13 and prove that no, it will not harm anyone. See, I'm living in the house, I'm very happy. It's not going to harm me. Because you want to break the image that people have on that particular number, right? So you are an iconoclast. I want an opposite, conformist, right? Conformist. A rebel is someone who goes against, can be synonym of iconoclast. Reformer, one who brings change. But when you strictly follow what has already been established, you're a conformist, right? Therefore, that is the opposite. Approbate, approbate, sorry, approbate. What is approbate? To officially approve is approbate. See, the word itself has Half of the word in it, approve, officially approving, approbate. What is the opposite? To condemn, to criticize, right? So that's the opposite. Let's practice few more antonyms. Venerate. What is venerate? See, there is a book, very, very famous book called Menna from Mars. 
women are from venus i repeat men are from mars women are from venus if you see almost all words that are related to mars are related to fight and war right for example martial arts martial arts right so there are words mar there is an english word called mar which means to hit okay there is an english word of course we have a word called mar in hindi as well in many other languages of course it means to hit so all fight related because god of wars are from mars and god of love is from venus love admiration respect attraction etc therefore venerate is to respect this word is related to venus okay venerate is to respect to love to admire we need the opposite and the opposite is abhor abhor means to hate in fact 10 times more than hatred that's abhor okay zenith now i can tell you that uh mark zuckerberg's mark zuckerberg's career is at zenith zenith means the highest point highest point zenith right when sun reaches its highest position that's called zenith right i want the opposite now nadir the lowest point nadir the lowest point so that's my answer these two words are often used to indicate someone's career for example his career is at zenith meaning the best when i say his career is at nadir it's the worst lowest right vain wax and vain i repeat wax and vain name and fame success and glory wax and vain we always see this way wax means to increase vain means to decrease okay wax and vain waxing and waning of the moon increasing and decreasing so that's your answer now can you pause this video and answer this can you now let's see the first one a on the on the left side they numbered 1 to 5 on the right side they are named a to e right i want you to match the left side options with the right side options can you pause and try that render obsolete render render obsolete so the first one is e okay i'm going for i'm going to go from the first one cause a lot of public anger provoke an outcry provoke an outcry right can you answer the next one make others feel angry and unhappy yes you are right the answer is c can you try the next one cause serious problems promoted speculation 3b no i was wrong cause serious problems spell disaster spell disaster now let me try the next one okay caused people to suspect yeah now i know the answer caused people to suspect promoted speculations 4 is d now can you try the last one yes caused to caused to be no longer used render obsolete obsolete means outdated now what are we practicing we are practicing collocations render obsolete spell disaster breeds resentment promoted speculation provoke an outcry we often see them together co means together locate means to spot collocation they are always spotted together if you want to speak naturally if you want to sound more like a native speaker okay i i don't say native speaker because it's not possible to speak like a native speaker but if you want to sound natural you have to use, learn you have to learn and use collocations i shared the best resources with your friends with the management i request you to take those resources and practice collocations now these are some techniques to learn vocabulary we have picture dictionary we have mnemonics we have stories we have context clues we have confusing words now look at this look at this you can look at the resource on the screen bottom most you can see a website name is mentioned you can try to check that out okay mundane dreams now i will give you a hint grandiose means grand grandiose means grand mundane means simple mundane means simple what is what are mundane activities waking up getting ready going to college eating food going to bed these are mundane activities right right now let's see the next word before i move on let me recap this mundane means routine you know every monday we do mundane activities because our routine starts 
every monday we do mundane activities because our routine starts now let me take you to the next slide picture dictionary placate 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 is to calm down placate is to calm down the term bread and circus is coined by by a poet why to refer to the way politicians always always calm down the masses by offering them by offering them food and entertainment right by offering them food and entertainment for example if your government just before the election announces that food is distributed for free obviously you get excited if your government just before the elections announces that movie tickets are very cheap entertainment is free for everyone now you are super excited why to calm down the public obviously some politicians do some tricks right that is what is being referred to in this example to placate is to calm down to placate means to calm down so you can look at the picture right i'm just trying to tell you that through pictures you can learn words because when you see you don't you don't forget easily flagrant meaning meaning obviously noticeable obviously noticed something that is so easy to spot okay something that is very noticeable that is flagrant something that is flagrant is openly bad now imagine imagine someone someone is doing something really bad with your country flag there is a flag to represent your country and someone is misusing it and that is shockingly bad right that is flagrant this is called a mnemonic this is called a mnemonic i'm going to share resources with you don't worry these slides are only to help you understand different techniques to learn words infringe means to encroach infringe means to trespass infringe means to occupy someone's place now infringe sounds like in fridge in fridge you know in fridge you see a lot of cockroaches sometimes they occupy the fridge you can use your vivid imagination you can pick up a a phonetically very similar word to your target word i repeat you can pick up a phonetically very similar word to your target word and then you can establish a connection between them to learn the target word this is called this is called keyword mnemonic this is called phonetic mnemonic right no stories look at this story one day while hunkered while hunkered down to milk a mottled cow uncle henry kept an anxious eye towards an increase increasingly ominous sky above suddenly seeing the long grass ripple before him he froze now there came a sharp whistling from behind him and as he turned his head he saw undulations in the grass in that directions also the usual phlegmatic farmer bolted straight up in alert attention there's a twister coming he shouted to his wife ever solicitous of his livestock he bolted towards the barn now let me explain the first word hunkered to milk a cow what do you do do you stand direct or do you sit down hunkered is to sit down like when you do a squat you go down right now what is a mottled cow spotted right omnius it's big and it's 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 clearly hinting you that something bad is going to happen a sign a bad sign omnius undulations you know when there's a lot of wind when there's a lot of breeze what happens the grass moves in a wavy fashion that's called undulations phlegmatic you know phlegmatic this person the protagonist in this story is always very lazy he doesn't react quickly but seeing this twister seeing this uh, twister and this heavy breeze he became very alert usually he is not alert but now he became very alert so phlegmatic is to be very very less alert the word phlegmatic in fact has come from phlegm your nostrils are filled with phlegm when you are suffering from cold and this phlegm makes you very inactive 
phlegmatic is very inactive bolted you suddenly stand and you move away fast you run away fast that's called bolted solicitous he is or he always pays attention to his livestock right solicitous we solicit we solicitly request you to attend our wedding what is solicit we solicit we solicit your gracious presence sorry i wrongly i didn't use the word correctly but now let me correct myself we solicit your gracious presence what is solicit give me i give my complete attention and wholeheartedly invite you now let me recap the story there is a man he is in a farm right he is milking a cow so how is he milking of course he hunkered meaning he sat down to milk the cow how does the cow look the cow has spots the cow has spots how did he how did he uh, milk he sat down squat and there are clouds the, the clouds are hinting you something that there is going to be a disaster there is going to be a natural calamity and how are, how is the grass moving the grass is moving in a wavy fashion okay phlegmatic how how did the word come what is the origin when you when your nostrils are filled with phlegm you know phlegm thick white fluid mucus when you suffer from cold you are very inactive you become phlegmatic so phlegmatic is very very inactive what is the opposite alert alert and if you run away quickly if in an, in a in a very active manner if you run away that's bolted what is solicitous paying complete attention solicitous is opposite of phlegmatic okay now let's see the next one now we are going to understand what what is a context clue i repeat my sentence now we are going to understand what a context clue is right nebulous sporadic enervate do you know the meaning of these words do you now look at this now can you guess the meaning can you guess the meaning you are right nebulous is opposite of clear nebulous is opposite of clear meaning unclear nebulous is opposite of clear read the sentence while my mother's plants are clear my father's plants are nebulous meaning unclear how do i know this tells me that the tone is going to change rain in vizag has never been regular by the way for people who do not know vizag is a place a small place in india okay this is where geetham is located rain in vizag has never been regular it has always been sporadic now i understand that it is opposite of regular it is opposite of regular meaning irregular meaning irregular while home food energizes you junk food enervates you what is while it's a tone changer right here never has been is also a tone changer so i want something that is opposite of energizes remember enervates is opposite of energizes meaning we can eating junk food we can sue right now this is called contextual clue the sentence itself explicitly gives you clues to understand the target word now learning words which are often confused is also very important this is also very important techniques to be learned now tell me the answer open to objection causing disapproval or offense exceptional is outstanding positive word right therefore that is not your answer right that is not your answer exceptional is a negative word is a negative word therefore that is your answer exceptional the comments made by you are exceptional meaning objectionable objectionable next of extreme force degree or strength intensive intense i repeat intensive intense listen to me very carefully intense means high in degree intense means high in degree intensive means giving all focus to it in hospitals we have intensive care meaning giving all care to one patient giving all care to the patients that are available in the intensive care intensive course you put all focus on the course right you don't have any diversions now look at this intense in military in armed forces you have 
intense training programs intense workouts therefore answer is intense now can you answer this as the session has come to end can you quickly answer them very good she has a good eye eye she has a good eye for detail i repeat she has a good eye for detail now can you try the next one can you try the next one there is just a thin slim there is a thin chance slim chance skinny chance what do you say there is a slim chance what do we say there is a slim chance right very good now let's look at the next one employ employ use exploit choose the negative connotation now okay now tell me now tell me use exploit employ between these three what do you think is a negative in its tone between these three words what do you think is a negative in its tone right yeah very good exploit see employ use exploit all these three words can mean the same by the way you can go and check in the dictionary exploit use employ all can mean the same but but exploit is negative in its meaning right negative connotation look at the next one meaning of intractable tractable means manageable tractable means manageable what is intractable what is intractable obstinate is opposite of intractable i repeat ob means extreme as in obese as in obedient as in observe stin means very strict very strict very strict like you know like like a fixed wire this word has come from string you know a guitar has if a guitar has two rigid strings it is of no use the same way if you are too rigid in life like the guitar strings that i was referring to you are obstinate so intractable and obstinate are the same now look at the next one while my daughter is obedient my son is intractable now tell me the meaning of intractable of course it is the opposite of obedient hard to manage hard to manage someone who's adamant can be can be called can be called intractable now can you answer this no company would permit accountant to audit its books disqualified unqualified what's the answer if you're unqualified you're not even taken into the job because you don't have certificates you don't have required degree therefore you're unqualified but if you do any mistake if you do any mistake you are kicked out of the job you're kicked out of your office their answer is disqualified if you don't even have certificates you're unqualified you have certificates you got the job but you did something wrong you're kicked out of your office that's disqualified let us look at the next one he was dash for the from the council for no, non attendance right he was he was okay he was so disqualified unqualified what is the answer he was disqualified from the unqualified you are disqualified i'm sorry i'm changing my answer here in the first question answer has to be now you read the question no company would permit accountant or yeah so no company would permit an unqualified no company no company would permit an unqualified accountant to audit audit its books meaning for a company to hire someone that someone has to be qualified if you are unqualified you won't be taken now look at the next one you did something wrong you did something wrong therefore you are you are not allowed to do it right you are disqualified i repeat i repeat please listen with fresh ears if if you want to join a company if you work in a company for a certain position you need certain qualifications you are qualified if you don't have that qualification you are unqualified you won't be allowed that is the first question fifth one here look at the sixth one you are already an employee there but you did some mistake you did some mistake you are disqualified now right hope this is clear let me teach you the next one seventh one a device such as a device 
such as a pattern of letters ideas or associations that artists and that that assist sorry that assist in remembering something is called of course anything that helps you in remembering anything that acts as a memory aid is called mnemonic right now we have come to an end can you answer this what is synonym of mundane monotonous very good what is antonym of solicitous 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 means to give a lot of attention so not giving any attention a is your answer i repeat every monday we do mundane activities right mundane routine routine activities so we want synonym therefore monotonous same mono means mono means one the same so this is opposite of the answer right this is opposite of the answer now antonym of solicitous what is solicitous to give complete attention solicitous unconcerned is not giving attention caring is opposite okay choose true or false the word capacious means crammed do you agree do you agree is it true or false look at the context is it true or false look at the context while some rooms are congested the others are capacious so these two are opposites right so what do we understand now congested opposite of congested is spacious opposite opposite of congested is spacious right but what is the question the word capacious means crammed crammed and congested are same crammed and congested are same therefore the answer is false the answer is false capacious means spacious i repeat capacious means spacious with this the session has come to an the session has come to an end i request you to watch this video make notes if you want any material please reach out us right please write to us please reach us thank you so much have a wonderful day